7.32 in Trinidad and Tobago. That's the late singing Sandra paying tribute to Paramin for a good reason because our next guest is originally from Paramin because we're talking about the event that's happening because as they say, laughter is good for the soul. Many might be familiar with the phrase, laughter is the best medicine. And in Trinidad and Tobago, comedy is a part of our culture. And indeed, the way things are now, if you don't laugh, you cry in Trinidad and Tobago. But on Sunday, a Trinidad-born comedian, Cindy Ann Boisseau from Paramin, as I mentioned, is hosting the event Phew, phew, is, the, 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 how you say that? Like it's a kind of like, like, a, like a release or a relief kind of thing. Well, it's happening at Central Bank Auditorium. Tickets are priced at $300. Part proceeds go to the St. Francois College alumni. And Ms. Basso is uh, based in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, as I mentioned, where she started her stand-up comedy career in 2014. She joins us now. Very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Good, good to have morning. you with us. Thanks for having me, Fazir. Good to have you with us. So tell us, let's get the basic information of the event out of the way. So Central Bank Auditorium on Sunday, $300 for tickets. What time and where can people get tickets? Okay, 4 p.m. Um, doors open at 4. Show starts at 5 p.m. Right. Tickets are available at Lisa Faye in St. James, Center of Excellence Pool, or they can call 758-0810, or they can send me a message directly. Okay, 758-0810. And yes. if they had to send a message to you di directly, how do they contact you? On Facebook, on Instagram, uh, Cindy Ann Boisseau. Right. What can people look forward to with uh, the performance? Obviously, but, but the, 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 the theme of it speaks for itself, stand-up comedy and so on. Uh, tell us about the theme of, 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 the, of the event. Well, this show is our fourth show in Trinidad, um, and the first one since the pandemic. Right. So the, the name of the show in itself is for people to get an opportunity to just exhale and just sigh, like with a sigh of relief. So they can expect um, Kyle Grooms is based in the U.S., so he's joining us, and it's stand-up comedy the way that we do it there. So it's very different to what is known here. Right. Um, they can expect comedy, Kiba Music or Kiba Williams. Mm -hmm. She's a singer, so she will sing them and serenade them with some old-time calypso, and, and then I close the show. Right. Peter Kelly opens the show. He's the host with right. the most, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and so he's going to welcome, welcome people in, have them relax and set the mood for an evening that's going to be absolutely amazing. And, and tell us about yeah, a bit of your career in stand-up comedy in the United States, which is, of course, well-known and well-established for stand-up comedy. Uh, what has that experience been like? Um, initially, it was very difficult for me to, um, one, with my accent, because, I mean, this is how I sound. Right. Um, they started to turn on a Yankee accent for no, them? No, no. What I do is, is a little accent reduction. So, like, okay. I have to use my R's, because we don't use our R's. Right. Uh, and my G's. So, some words I have to change up. Right. Um, otherwise, the joke wouldn't land. Right. Um, but generally, this is me. Um, open mics was something that I had to adjust to. Because it's, I mean, it's, it's work. It's not like, I mean, I think... I'm capable of holding court. Like I could go in a rum shop here and I could sit down and old talk as we say here, right? right. But that's not what it is. Yes. It's structured, it's work. And that- How difficult is that? How dif different is that? Because people think that, people think that old talking and cracking jokes is the same as stand-up comedy. No. T tell us about that. Um, with old talking, you don't need structure. You can stand and and engage people and not get a punchline and not have a premise. It's just a story, which is very different. Stand up, you need to have a setup, a premise, a punchline. It sounds like a very intimidating thing, I tell you, because I mean, if, you're, if the jokes don't land, as you say, if you're boss on stage, right. you know, I, I mean. But well, they call it bomb. They yeah, say that well, they call it bomb. We say boss. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but I mean, uh, it, it, is it uh, intimidating if you're doing it for the first time? Uh, was it intimidating for the very, first time? Very, very. The so first time I did it, I did it at the Hard Rock, at the Improv. Hmm. And um, very intimidating because you never know. So people are kind of waiting to see what you come in with. Right. And you are scared because you don't know if they will receive what you're about to give. And I remember like midway in my set, I froze. I was like, because people were laughing and I was like, okay, this... It was a lot, so it was overwhelming, and it's very scary. And uh, is it going to be 
different come Central Bank on, on, on Sunday? Is it going to be this, that similar kind of style of delivery and so on from, from, from you? Yeah, yeah. Um, important to note is that it's a clean show because I know sometimes people hear comedy and they assume... No cussing and nastiness, no I think. Right. Well, I didn't, wouldn't I anticipate that with Peter Kelly. Baby, right. I know he's not into that. Good. Yeah. Exactly. Peter hosted our show in 2019. Mm. So it's a clean show. Um, to be clear, it's not that I do cuss because mm. I, I, I could cuss a good cuss. Mm. but I don't cuss here on stage. Um, you just have to know your audience, because there are shows there that I can't cuss either. Right. Um, and I don't, you know, because you can be funny without cussing. But, I mean, I'm not against a good cuss now and again either, you know? Well, I, mean? I suppose if you're if you, if coming out of a wrong show, it must have a good cuss I out must, at, you at, must, at, at some time. Um, is it going to be topical? Because, in, in, you know, there, there are some things, I mean, and the same thing in the United States, some may consider no-go areas, some may consider, you know, don't talk, don't talk about this, or, you know, the politics in Trinidad and the race and whatever. Um, not wanting to reveal mm -hmm. what you're going to be talking about, but uh, are, are the, uh, is it going to be topical in that sense? Mm, um, sometimes. I'll touch on some things, but I'm not a political comedian. Mm -hmm. um, not because I'm afraid. It's just not my style. I right. do more observational stuff. I talk more about my personal life. Um, so that's what people can expect. I will touch on a few things that kind of resonated with me that happened here. But generally, no. But you, but you know ordinary life could be hilarious. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's not topical in terms of this is going on now, but just observing people, observing the differences between me as a trainee surviving in the US, even as a comedian, just as a regular person, the things I've had to do and change. You know? and, and tell us about the, 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 the support of the St. Francois Girls College uh, uh, and uh, the, the process oh going to the God, alumni. Yeah. So St. Francois Girls College, um, my, some of my friends from school who have businesses, they have chipped in as well to donate door prizes or we have somebody doing um, punch a creme. Um, this has always been something I wanted to do to give back to the school. So I was very happy that the alumni was able to, the alumni said yes, they were on board with it. And whatever we receive, part receives a check goes to the alumni to help these kids with mental health care, whichever mm -hmm. student needs, whether it's therapy or, you know, to a particular counselor, it, that's, that's and, and that, that whole issue of mental health awareness, thankfully, it's a, you know, people's attitudes are changing in yes. Trinidad and Tobago in, in relation to that. Um, uh, how are ticket sales going so far? Ticket sales have been good. Uh, it hasn't been like 2019 because a lot has changed, but it's now, it's now coming in and, and we're doing pretty good. We are doing pretty good. And because, as you said, you started uh, a couple of events before the pandemic, is, is it the intention to have these annually or... Uh, seasonally, what, what was the I don't intention? know. We have to, I think after this year, we have to really sit back and decide if it's worth it. For And, and when I say worth it, I don't mean Trinidad is not worth it. I mean, fine, because it's expensive. It has to be financially viable. Yeah, you can't it, be exactly, doing things and losing exactly. money. Exactly. So, and there's no way we can compete price range with people here. Because, I mean, if you live here and you have a show, you could charge 150 You could charge because you don't have the expense of, you know, bringing anybody bring in the, yeah, and that right. kind of expense. Right. So we really have to sit back and reevaluate if it's if it's something that we can afford. Now, if corporate stepped in, somebody came, and now we did get sponsorship for T-shirts, Visual Eyes sponsored, um, Blue Water sponsored um, with water and stuff. Right. Um, so yeah, but we'll see. You know, ticket sales have just started cranking up, so we're really looking for. But the thing is, whoever comes is guaranteed to have a really good show. Right. So again, showtime is 5 p.m. The door opens at the Central Bank Auditorium from 4 p.m. Yes. Um, you can WhatsApp 758-0810 for more information. And just uh, just repeat uh, the, uh, the the show, the, the cast, uh, before we wrap up. Yes, once again. so everyone gets a complimentary drink as they come in. Um, Peter Kelly is the host. We have a parang band from Paramin performing in the lobby area for the cocktail hour, Cinco Mas Dos. Um, Peter Kelly host, Kyle Grooms, Kiba Williams, and then I close the show. And it's, yeah, as in, it's just you like, relax. Oh, yeah, you could just say, <sighs> All right, well, indeed, you, you tend to have a lot of that expression at the end of a day. At the end of in, a day, in, yeah. In Trinidad and Tobago. An hour on the hour. Be, well, Ms. Bosso, thanks very much for taking the time to be thanks with us. And me. indeed, hopefully you get a chance to go up to Paramin. Hopefully you come to the show. Why are you waiting to go to Paramin? Come me? to the show. No, I am, I am a social outcast. <laughs> I, 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 I am intimidated by people, believe, believe it or not. But thanks very much for being with us. Thanks uh, for having me. You're more than welcome. 741 in Trinidad and Tobago.